taking a little break it's a Sunday around uh, late morning and we decided instead of working today we we're gonna take a little hike out the back of our property to where it juts or uh, abuts to the state land and try to find us some trails down to there's a couple ponds and other trails and I can't believe we've been here what over almost two months I now and we haven't done any of that no and the funny thing is is we've been on this state land before oh yeah I've hiked it a bunch we just have not a, from this from, direction from back at our house yeah back so we're gonna dance. have to trailblaze a little bit because we're gonna try to see if we can figure out how to get from our property to a trail on the state land yeah and uh, and then down to Irwin Pond um, the other thing too is it's uh, a beautiful morning we oh, hate to tell gorgeous. all our Texas friends here it is middle of July and it was below 50 this morning so it's really gorgeous yes we are we are enjoying this weather that's and, for sure and we got our tick spray on yes we do we're all set mosquitoes and ticks are don't stand a chance with us today we hope, we hope. <laughs> right now we're just still on the trail that leads from our property to state land this is a trail that we've been working on the best part of our trail is going toward that way but we're going to take off this way guys we are now on the fire break yeah. of the state land. It makes a big right turn right here. Right behind our property. Kind of creates a little meadow here. out of the weeds and we're about to start going through the the uh, state land here we decided it was better to um, get out and get away from any potential ticks that were in the tall grass even though we we're not outsmarting them by any means giant roots of trees that have fallen this is what Bill's talking about I'm not sure how we're getting through here beautiful we've kind of hit a snag not bad but it's very very swampy over here so we're not going in a straight line like we had planned we're actually curving so and we're not sure how long it'll take us to actually get to the trail then there's a lot of natural springs around here according to our neighbor so that's probably what we've run into all right this should be interesting I've never been very good at the balance beam. There we go. Whoa, 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 that could have been bad. Oh, Whew. that would have been a muddy mess. Uh, hey, Bill, what are we doing here? We don't know. We're just bushwhacking <laughs> through the woods and we haven't run into any trails yet, but we got a general direction. It's not like we can get too lost. I have a little map and we have service. And so we're doing good. We're fine. We're just enjoying the day. <laughs> okay, we're not on the trail, but we've reached kind of an opening and clearing here. Bill has a Garmin watch, so he can kind of tell what direction we're going using his watch. He has a compass in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to keep going a little bit east to southeast down this way. Maybe we'll hit that. Well, we run into a little issue. We're struggling with finding our way out of this. Yeah. But I know we will.
I'm supposed to follow him through that. There's a little pond right here, and there's a frog out there croaking, but I can't get him. There he goes. I would call this hiking adventure a fail, but we're not done yet, so who knows? Do you hear my husband chuckle at that? Yeah, he thinks it's funny. We'll laugh about this later if none of us get snake bit or Lyme disease. Ow! I got stuck by a thorn. You're losing me. Another animal trail through here. Let's hope it's deer. Or maybe let's hope it's not deer. Deer carry the Lyme disease tick. Hold on, I got a bug. Oh, this is a road? Okay. Well, no, because we basically kind of went in a circle out there. <sighs> Yay! So, on the map here, okay. I think, I think we're right here. Okay. And if we go down here, there should be a little trail to the left to that pond, or and we'll go around and do some of this. That's Irwin Pond. Okay. You ready? I am ready. I'm ready for regular walking yeah. <laughs> and not trailblazing. Exactly. All right, Bill, were you getting nervous back in there about getting me out of there? No. What were you most worried about? Anything? Rattlesnakes. <laughs> I was more worried about ticks. Black bears. The, well, we were making enough noise to scare the black bears off, yeah. believe me. Right there. So now we got to go up here, up this hill. We go up the hill. Yeah. Milkweed attracts butterflies like nobody's business. I don't know if you can see them all, but there are tons of butterflies and a few little birds flitting around. Look at this one. This might be the markings for what's called the uh, Crystal Forest Trail. Oh, okay. This is part of the finger lake. See, there's another orange mark. There's in tons of trails through here that have been made. There's no maps of them. And, but a lot of the local mountain bikers uh, have some routes through here, and they keep riding them. And it looks like this could be a mountain bike trail. I think the year that Bill spent so much time up here, they had kept it mowed a little bit better. Yep, so we're going the right way. One day, a couple of years ago, he spent like five hours out here. Went about 10 miles. So they must come down here and have him take this. We're gonna end up on this trail and then we'll walk the road down the okay. pond. Okay, there's another little pond right here. Not sure it's on the map, but we're gonna check it out. Oh, Bill says it's on the map. Does it say what its name is? It doesn't have any name. You can see it back there, but you can probably see the cattails that lead to it. There's not an easy path up to it. You just kind of walk alongside okay. it. Okay, we're 
on the other side of that pond I was talking about, and now I can get a better shot of it. Look, Look at how tall this white birch is. Tall and straight. Okay, so all those orange markings right were the Crystal Hills Trail. Yep, which is part of the Finger Lakes Trail, which goes all the way across the Finger Lakes. Or you want to go down to Irwin Pond? How much walking you want to do? We've Let's got... go to Irwin Pond. Okay. okay. So during the summer, the gates are closed, so you can't come up here and park. Right. Just during hunting season, I think it's the only time it's open. Yep. Was it last summer or the summer before that occasionally they had the gates open during the summer? They have a fishing, uh, a fishing day or a week up here. Oh, they okay. Open the gates and people can drive to Irwin Pond and fish. Oh, well, gotcha. Okay. I can't remember when it is. They open it up for like family fishing week or something. Okay. Okay, wish us luck. We think this trail will lead to the fire break that will lead to our property. As long as we're heading in the right direction, and Bill says we are, we should hit that fire break that's out behind our property. Listen to the birds. Go right up the fire break. Let's do it. And then We are back on Edminster property. Right there, right there. 